Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're going to be ranking the best budget cards here in NBA 2K23, my team. But before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 12,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day. I've been uploading a ton over these past few days and would really appreciate it if you do subscribe if you haven't already. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. So, we got 30 some of the best budget cards in the game on this list um if there's anybody that i leave off the list which i'm sure there is somebody that y'all use as a top budget card feel free to let me know and i will let you know in the comments where i would put that card but without further ado let's hop right into it andre karolinko s tier no doubt he's one of the top five shooting guards in the game in my opinion amazing release amazing defense uh, especially defense he's an absolutely incredible lockdown defender six foot nine has elite level six he is a top tier option at the shooting guard position in my team really 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 good card and obvious s tier to start us out andrew wiggins probably beats here release on wiggins isn't great that's his biggest flaw is that his release is just kind of mediocre uh, he is six seven with a seven foot wingspan and a nice player build elite all around stats and badges really really nice card in a lot of ways release is just not elite that's his biggest flaw for sure arvita sabonis i think has to go b tier still probably just because he's seven foot three but that's about the only thing i like about the card because his release sucks he's just so big that he can compete against yows and minutes and kps and tacos and guys like that better than most bigs can because of how big he is but that's really his main value is just the fact that he's as big as he is i actually don't think the card is all that great in my personal opinion just still putting a b tier because of his size blake griffin very mediocre release but he is 610 still good enough to be c tier he's not a he's actually a better card than arvita sabonis is but sabonis's size is so valuable ah i don't like this blake griffin card but i don't think c tier is fair i'm gonna go b tier even though i don't love his release i think he's okay enough to be b tier scalabrini in my opinion is probably a tier still um he has only six nine but he's got absolutely incredible sigs and an amazing release really incredible stats as well this card is one of the best galaxy opals in the game really really good card damian lillard is small without an elite release pretty easy d tier for me uh, demarcus cousins is another guy who i'm gonna put d tier because he's got a pretty poor release does not move all that well um decent but not incredible stats and badges not an amazing card in my opinion dirk nowitzki a tier great power forward elite release really good size at seven foot one very capable defender very very good all around card that's an a tier guy for sure demontis Sabonis, i don't like his release but he is seven foot one has pretty good size has um good stats and badges just not a big fan of the release but i do think he's probably still good enough to go c tier draymond green i think goes a tier he's six foot what seven so he's got good size the point guard position he's got every single defensive badge in the game uh good wingspan great speed very capable shooter i don't love his release i think it's a little bit slow but he's got really good sigs and he's absolutely incredible defender with really good size i think he's a good enough point guard to go eight tier still hito turkalu gonna put him in the s tier uh, for 10,000 MT, he's the best value point guard in the game. Elite release, moves really well. Six foot ten, very capable defender. Very complete stats and badges. Really, really good card. Jalen Rose gonna go B tier. Don't love his release again, but he is a six foot eight point guard with great sigs, moves well. Nice card. Not the greatest defender, but capable enough, especially at six foot eight. Not a bad option. Jason Kidd probably C tier for J Kidd. I just don't love J Kidd's release, and he is only six foot four. Now he's got one of the bigger player builds for a six foot four player in the game. Very capable slash great defender great uh, stats and badges all the way around he's got trey young size up escape kid size up actually isn't bad either quick drops leaners trey fade not a bad he's good enough to go b tier i don't love his release but i think he's good enough to go b tier gonna give him that credit joakim noah like honestly might be a tier i really think this card gets overlooked and he's pretty damn good six level with seven one links but it doesn't have great height his shooting isn't great as a base card you're gonna want to add some shooting badges to him if you do use him but sea wood base with pip and upper is cash normal leaner great saves quick drops very capable speed and an absolutely elite defender pretty damn good budget card man i think he's better than guys like blake and i think he's actually a pretty solid card i'm gonna move j kid down because john wall is he a nah uh, i think john wall might be a i think i'm gonna give him a I, i'm looking at the rest of these cards in this list so i feel like i might be going a little bit high on some of these rankings because i gotta put some of these guys a little bit lower yeah we're gonna move joakim noah to b I think I'm going to keep Wall A, though, because he is, in my opinion, maybe the best 6'4 under PG in the game. Amazing player build for a guy that size. Really great release. Elite slasher. Super fast. Feels incredibly fast with the ball in his hands. He is, in my opinion, a top-tier budget point guard. Uh, Jonathan Isaac is S-tier. 6'11. Elite defender. 
great option at the small forward position. Still a borderline top five small forward in the game. Amazing card. Josh Smith is high A, borderline S. Reason he's not, the only reason he's not S is because he doesn't have an amazing player build, and he is only 6'9", whereas, whereas a guy like Carl Malone, who is S tier, has a much better player build. All both have good releases. I think Carl's is a little more consistent. Carl's is a slightly better all-around card, but they're both great options at the small forward position. I just would prefer Carl Malone and Jonathan Isaac over Josh Smith. I actually think Carl Malone and AK are probably the two best cards in this list. Um, they are both absolutely elite top five options at their position. There's one other guy on this list that kind of is too, but KPJ going to go B. I'm actually going to move Jalen Rose now because no defensive hoffs and the mediocre release. I think Furfit, it's fair to put him C because I don't think KPJ is quite on the level of Draymond or John Wall. Incredible release. Not He's a great offensive card, defensively not special. and doesn't have insane saves, but not a bad card. Just an amazing release is what makes him as good as he is. Kyrie Irving is D tier. He's just small. Doesn't have the best release in the world. Doesn't have the best saves in the world. Rarely is Kyrie that great in my team. I feel like this year he's not either. Um, Lance Stevenson, B tier probably. I mean, okay, I guess, but not not great. Like, he's not a bad card. He's 6'5", so he's a little undersized. Not terribly, but not great in terms of size. Stats and badges are going to be very, very good, of course. Uh, and he's got a good release. He's got Trey size up. He's got a, he's a decent card. He's not insane, but he's a pretty decent card. Laurie Markin, and I'm going to give A tier, along with Josh Smith, another seven foot small forward. Very capable defender. The size is super valuable for sure. Very good card. Uh, Mark Eaton, or Mark Gasol, I should say, is also going to go A tier. Same level as Dirk, a seven foot one power forward with a nice release who defends at a high level and can shoot the ball at a super high level. Good, good card. Mark Eaton is obviously S tier, seven foot four center with an with uh, incredible size and great speed, 85 speed base for a card of his size. Can shoot the three pretty well. Better release than some of the other budget bigs, although they're really he's by far the best guy in like the fifty thousand and tier less price point of those budget cards at the center position. Easily the best budget center in the game. Obvious S tier card, him, Carl Malone, AK-47 are three of the four best cards on this list. Mikael Bridges, not bad. Solid 3 and D, B tier. Not an amazing card, but definitely not bad. Pau Gasol, don't love him. I think C tier is fair for Pau. Um, he's good. His release is just kind of meh. Actually, I'm going to be honest. I'm moving Pau Gasol and DeMontis Savonis down. I'm moving Blake Griffin down. I'm moving Lance Stevenson down. I think we got to make this list a little bit lower. Uh, put some of these cards a little bit lower, and I do think that it's fair to put uh, Pau and DeMontis because of how bad their releases are down in the D tier. Peter, is he still A? He's 7'2 with a 7'10 wingspan and a great release. But stats and badges aren't incredible on him. If you batch him out fully, though, he's still pretty good. I think he's still A tier. I'm going to give him A tier for sure. Really, really solid card. Another S tier guy. We're going to have seven guys in S tier, maybe even eight. Yeah, I know that's a lot, but there's some really good budget cards. Rudy Gay is another one who just has to be S tier. Like all these guys that are in S tier so far have to be in the S tier. They're absolutely elite level cards who are top guys at their position, can compete against any card at the position in the game. Rudy Gay is no different. Elite size, elite slasher, very good release, great defensive card, really, really good. Scotty Barnes, same thing. Him and Hito Turkoglu are two elite level point guards who have great size, good releases, move well, can create their own shot and defend at a high level. Really, really complete, really, really good options at the point guard position. SGA going to go A tier. I'm going to move. Move John Wall down. I'm looking at this list. I think I'm going to move Peter to high B as well. And I actually think I'm going to move Sabonis to C because I hate his release. To even it out just a little bit more, uh, I do think SGA is on the same level as a guy like Draymond Green. I think they're both better than John Wall. I think John Wall's size just hurts him a little bit, to be completely honest. And that's why I have him as low as I do. Good card, but um, SGA is better. I think yeah, John Wall's just got to go down to the B team. I really think that's fair. Shane Battier, elite 3 and D. Doesn't do a ton else, but he can kind of shot create as well. He's got good size at 6'8". Very good card. Borderline 8 here. Probably one of the top guys in B tier, but I'm going to go B still for him. Sean Kemp, going to go A tier above uh, Blake because he's got a good release. I think he's a pretty good card. I'm not sure he's quite as good as Josh Smith, Brian Scalabrini, or Laurie Markkinen, although he might be as good as Scal. Mm, we're going to go A for him. No. Yes, we're going to go A tier for him. I really think he's good enough with his release being pretty good to be an A tier guy at 6 foot 10 at the small forward position. Going to put Thurl in the A tier as well. 6 11 small forward with a really nice release, good movement, complete stats and badges. That's another A tier guy. And then finally, Tyson Chandler is going to go B tier as well. 7 1 center, very capable defender, great player build, solid release, does a lot of things really, really well at the center position. So, with that being said, that is going to do it for this video. This is going to finish my budget card tier list. Let me know what y'all think of my list down in the comment section down below. What you would change i know it's a little top heavy i apologize for that but i hope that's all right and i hope y'all did enjoy the video if you did make sure you hit that like button and subscribe i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon and i appreciate y'all peace